In this video, we're going to understand why the Indian Space Research Organization named its first solar mission Aditya L1. Aditya L1 mission is India's first solar mission planned by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Earlier, the name was Aditya 1 and then later it was renamed as Aditya L1 mission. Now, let me tell you about the significance of this mission's name. If you look at this name Aditya L1, Aditya is a Sanskrit word which means the sun and L1 refers to Lagrange point 1. Now, if you can recollect, in the Chandrayaan 3 lunar mission video, I have explained about Lagrange point. A Lagrange point is a point where the gravitational pull of two large masses is precisely equal. This point or position is called the Lagrange point. This point is also a gravitationally stable point. Now, let me also be clear about the fact, I am not saying there will be absolutely zero gravitational pull at this point. No, I am not saying that. What I am saying is that at this Lagrange point, you will experience gravitational forces from both of the large masses at an equilibrium state. You can carefully place an object or a satellite in such a way that it will remain in a relatively stable position. Any slight deviation due to external force can disrupt this equilibrium, causing the object to drift away from the Lagrange point. Now there are 5 Lagrange points in the Earth-Sun system and they are labelled L1, L2, L3, L4 and L5. As you can see, L1 is located right between the Earth and the Sun. L2 is on the opposite side of the Earth from the Sun. L3 is on the opposite side of the Sun from the Earth. L4 is located 60 degrees ahead of the Earth in its orbit around the Sun. It forms an equilateral triangle with the Earth and the Sun. This position is also very stable and any object placed here will move in roughly the same orbit as the Earth, making it an attractive location for missions related to Earth-Sun observation. L5 is also situated 60 degrees behind the Earth in its orbit around the Sun. Now this position also forms an equilateral triangle with the Earth and the Sun. It is also an attractive location for conducting solar missions, just like L4. Now you may have a question ultimately which point is better, L1, L4 or L5. So this is where you have to understand that all three are the best positions for conducting solar missions. However, L1 is the closest Lagrange point to Earth. It is located about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth, making it relatively accessible for missions. But then if you pay attention, the approximate distance between Earth and the Sun is around 150 million kilometers. That means this Lagrange 1 point is merely 1% of the Earth-Sun distance. However, this point also provides a continuous view of the Sun without interference from Earth's atmosphere. That is the reason ISRO has chosen this point for India's first solar mission. So maybe in the future scientists may think about conducting solar missions by putting their solar modules in L4 and L5 points. Currently, the Indian Space Research Organization has decided to study the Sun from the L1 vantage point, which is Lagrange point 1. And that is why this mission is named as Aditya L1 mission.